Good morning and welcome to Daily Devotions with Pastor Joe. I'm Pastor Joe and this morning we're going to be reading out of the book of Romans chapter 8 verses 26 through 28. It says, Likewise the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities. For we know what not what we should pray for as we ought. But the Spirit itself maketh intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. And he that searcheth the hearts knoweth what is the mind of the Spirit, because he maketh intercession for the saints according to the will of God. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose. And this is a beautiful passage of Scripture used quite often to encourage individuals uh, whenever they're struggling with anything that's going on in their life. And it's encouraging to me this morning Uh, Likewise, the Spirit, which Spirit? The Spirit of God helps our infirmities, helps our uh, lacking, our, our, our limitedness as humans. Let me get into it in the full chapter here. I wanted to look at just before that. He's saying likewise in verse 26, but in verse 25, if we hope for that we see not then do we with patience wait for it. Likewise, the Spirit helps our infirmities. So in the same way that we don't see the things that we hope for, and so we wait patiently for them, we don't know the things we ought to be praying for, and so we patiently uh, mind the Spirit of God and allow Him to help us to pray. And so... uh, The Spirit himself, itself, as King James puts it, although it acknowledges it as the Holy Spirit by giving it a capital S, the Spirit, the Spirit of God himself, makes intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. Or in other words, with saying things that we cannot even begin to fathom the ability to speak out. Uh, Very often in church, whenever I'm uh, asking for prayer requests, I'll ask for uh, unspoken requests by show of, of uplifted hands, and I always say any requests that that you just don't know how to uh, really put into words, you know, and very often that's the way it really is, that there are things, yes, that we can speak out and pray out specifically, but there's other things that, that the burden of life, the burden of whatever is going on is heavy, and we just don't even know how to say what we're trying to say to God. And in those cases, we have to trust in the Spirit of God dwelling in us and through us to speak those things to the Father. And he that searcheth the hearts knoweth what is the mind of the Spirit, because he maketh intercession for the saints according to the will of God. And we know that all things work together for good. That's according to the will of God, to them that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose. And so, we know that God works out all of the good things in our lives that need to be done. There are many times where God just knows the answer before it's ever time for us to do it. You know, uh, sometimes He answers prayers that we don't pray because we don't even know we need to be praying them. But we know that God has answered a prayer, a request in our lives. We, I've, I've struggled with. sinus infections over the last four years or so and just recently the last couple of days I've had a little bit of something horribly strong coming on that's taken my ability to smell to breathe and it's hurt quite a bit it it knocks me out of being able to do a whole lot for a couple of days and this morning I mentioned to my wife I said you know I really need some mucinex we need to get some at the store today because it's been a while since we've had any as far as I'd known we had used the last of it but somehow in the dozen or so times we've cleaned out our bathroom cabinet over the last year, we hadn't noticed that there was an entire pack of Mucinex in there, brand new, not expired, ready to go. And so this evening, my wife just literally opened up the cabinet and looked, and right there it was, even though it hadn't been seemed to be there before. God had uh, prepared us somewhere along the line to have left it there for whatever purpose, just so I would have it for today. And, you know, that's a very small thing in comparison to what God does for us. God answers our prayers in many ways and many times ahead of time. Uh, There have been many instances in my life where I've been in a place where uh, afterwards I I say, well, thank you, Lord, for that. And 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 even afterwards I'll say, you know, I'm, I'm grateful that God helped to preserve me or protect me through whatever was going on. God answers prayers that we do speak to Him. And then there's those times where we have a need 
that we just don't know how to say it. And God answers those needs too. And so I'd encourage you today, if you have something that's just so heavy and burdensome upon you this morning, just reach out to the Lord and say, Lord, you know. And let him have his way in your life today and throughout the day so that uh, as you face the different things, you can rest securely in him knowing that he is answering your needs. I'll see you again tomorrow on another daily devotion with Pastor Joe. God bless. Have a great day in the Lord. If you have any comments, I'd encourage you to leave them down in the comment section below. I really enjoy uh, getting the opportunity to communicate with you people. So I'll see you tomorrow on another daily devotion with Pastor Joe.